Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. I swear that Willy just came out of nowhere. <laughs> anyway, that that was a bit of a it was a bit of a wasn't it? Alice's things was a book, the creator's dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. It's alright, Alan. No worries. No worries, we'll find Alice. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. We can do this. Oh, I forgot to breathe for ages then. Well, uh, don't really have an option now. Lid. I like how he doesn't really care that his car's just been told. I guess it was probably like a holiday hired car. Was that the car they came in on the ferry? Hello? Maybe. Ooh, ooh, not again. Hello? Is someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Well, that's that's the part that's the hook. The hook is now in. This is where when I that sounded weird. This is what when I was first playing this game. When my brother brought it home, I loaded it up. I was like, I'm gonna try this game out. This that moment there Departure was when I was like Alan Wake. I was like, damn, this game is good. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare. But I was awake. So... <sighs> who's gonna put bets on what happens next? Hey. Hey. See, I feel like I need to explore though. Because I'm in nightmare mode. Gotta find those extra pages. Gotta find those pages. Oh. Please, I've been in an accident. I think I missed something there because I was too busy exploring. Whoops. That gas station is a long ass way away. Looks like we're getting further from it. Fit. Yep. Come on, Alan, get your shit together. I'm gonna save Alice. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Mm, I mean, it looks pretty creepy down there. I'd bypass that whole scenario. What's this shining over here? Is this a page? There we go. <laughs> I jump for joy. Barry took another sip of the heavenly coffee. He grinned at Rose. Surely this was love. Rose gushed on breathlessly. The new one will be a masterpiece, I know it. You must tell him not to listen to the trolls in the forum saying departure will never get finished. He should take his time and make it perfect. I can wait. I've never seen that before. That's a that's a, a nightmare page. Oh dear. Don't listen to the trolls. Don't listen to the trolls. Solid advice, but you can tell like someone in Remedy who made this game had like had some kind of criticism on an internet form, and that's his his little dig back to them.
Anybody there? Please. Hey. Hey, you. Phil. There's been an accident. I need help. Listen, Deposit. I need to. Premium cabins for rent in. Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Please. Thank you. Non refundable reservation deposit required. Fair and square. <laughs> Slightly terrifying. Doesn't get old. Need to explore. Explore my sur There we go. <laughs> Find help. Not objective though. So, so this guy's been possessed by something. This this Carl Stuck is the dude who's supposed to give us the keys. The taking stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. Those metaphors. Or oh, similes? I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. So there we have a name now. The Taken. They are the Taken. I mean, you're saying fair and square whilst throwing logs at me. The, the sound way of knowing whether you're in danger or not. <laughs> I love the um, the voice changer on these guys, but the, the way you know if you're in danger on this game or not is if you've been given a gun. We had to figure a way out of this. Any second now and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. And references though. Them references. Right, let's get we're gonna need every bit oh no. We're gonna need every bit of equipment we can get, I can tell. And I and I think there's gonna be less. During your trying Don't listen to him, just just leave it. Yes, what is he gargling on about? Check them subtitles out. Hello? <laughs> yes, Alan, this. This is bad. <laughs> I think. Oh my lord. Oh! My game minimized! What the hell? If I die to that. Oh my lord. I don't know if you're gonna see that, but my game minimized. <laughs> that was not cool. Why you do this? Why you do this, Alan? Right, use our surroundings, here we go, boom. Get more revolver ammo, nice. Come into the light. Ow. Can't afford to waste those shots. Boom. Let's go. The concussion. I'd never fired a gun outside the shooting range, and now I just killed someone or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. Whew! Intense. The hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. Nice. Yeah, so these these yellow arrows, whenever you see these things, how do you switch weapons again? Oh, the D-pad. Not sure if I like that. Um, yeah, the, the, these things, obviously, they, as you've just seen, lead to secrets in this game. So it's always good to keep your eye open. I mean, I'd just pick that chainsaw up if I was in this situation, but... Oh. <laughs> that scared me. 
right. the dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. Yeah. I had to get to the gas station. Yeah, it doesn't sound like the best call ever, Alan. Oh no, I'm parkouring. Is it just him? It won't be just him. It won't be just him. It's just him. Easy. Oh. Oh, that drag scope though. The YY fakey ladder store. These have supplies in them, which is good. So, I mean, it is the start of the game, I guess. The thing about this game is the difficulty on it ramps up so quickly. Let's have a look. Rose knew she had been gushing, but right now she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. <laughs> she watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty, confident, at ease with Wake. Not like Rose. They were perfect for each other. She had given anything to be called their friend. So where we're at the moment, right? Alan thinks he's writing this, um, this, these pages that, that he keeps finding. So... With that in mind, that theory in mind that Alan thinks he's writing this, surely he's seeing how big-headed he is right now. He's just claimed that him meeting this girl was the high point of her life. Like, he says literally, there's no questioning. Like, maybe it was the high point, or literally the high point of her life, meeting me. Oh, Alan. I suppose he's a writer. They're probably a little bit. Oh, the jump scares! Should have had a face cam. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? That's a... He's very calm, to be honest. I'd, I'd be freaking the hell out right now. When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Really? Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Indeed. Right, there's a page somewhere in one of these. One of these little... One of these little weird island thingies. Oh, that's a thermos, let's go. I said I wasn't collecting these, but you know. You see it and you just have to. And then it, <laughs> it gets to a point where you've picked up so many, you just. You, you want to get the rest. You know what I'm saying, fam? I don't know why I keep saying, you know what I'm saying, fam? <laughs> Clearly think I'm cooler than I am. Well, I think I see a page. Let's go. It's not about completing the game, it's about getting the pages. Reading that story. Barry Wheeler was bouncing off the walls. He jumped on a plane after his calls were ignored by both Al and Alice for several days. It could mean that they were both on a second honeymoon. But Barry didn't buy it. Al had been way too unstable for that. Not sleeping. Messed up. Barry had years of experience dealing with Alan Wake. And he couldn't ignore it. Something was wrong. Barry's intuition, though. Let's go. Oh, there's fell into those logs. Right, okay, let's go. Is there any more? Right, you've always got to see first if there's more. Usually when there is, though, it'll do like a... Like a special little camera and show you where they are. Stucky was still out there. In the dark, stalking me. Oh, is that all it was? He's not actually going to attack me. Just a, just a prompt. Fuck you, Stucky. Where are my keys? For a long time, the dark presence had been weak, sleeping. Nothing but a half forgotten nightmare or a shadowy flicker in the corner of an eye in the forest at night. Not real enough to properly exist, and yet too evocative to fade away completely. Now it was waking up. The rider like a fly caught in a spider's web, each jerk and kick vibrating the strands that led deep into its lair. It was aware of him now. 
and it could use him. All he'd need was a little incentive. Maybe that incentive is his missing wife. <laughs> yeah, so th these things were little flames next to them are the, um, the nightmare and difficulty ones, the ones that I haven't seen before. Oh jeez, jeez, jeez. Oh, not the axe throwers. I need to create myself some room here. LG <laughs> dodge. Oh, oh no. Let's go. Oh jeez, 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 this is getting... It's getting a bit... Take the headshot. Oh, that dodge though! Let's go. You feel so cool when you pull off a dodge. It's, <laughs> it's great. Right, let's reload everything. I've still got that flare gun. But that's for like, that's for like hold up, hold up. E e. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Nice. Just it, yeah, like I don't understand why nightmare isn't like an option from the start. Like a game like this really benefits from a hard difficulty, because it really makes you feel like you're actually in the game. <laughs> Like, there's, there's way more of a survival aspect about it. In my opinion, anyway. I never get games that make you have to... I'm gonna cool some batteries. Um, I never get games that make you complete the game first before you can play in a harder difficulty. Like... Mm. I like a challenge. But I doubt. See, this, this this game's unique to me because I hate replaying anything, like, even if it's a movie, like, a movie, a game, whatever, I consume it once and then I'm like, whatever. Alright, where am I going right now? How do you even play this game again? I need to move this log lift across, this log lift across somewhere so I can move over. Oh, right. Brand new club. Come on. Can I get through there? No. I don't know if in this difficulty as well, if you hang around long enough, more people spawn. And this this breathing in my ear earphone is really messing, really messing with me. I'm playing in the dark. The yeah, staircase can. was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. I mean, just jump that way. It's always a double-edged sword seeing these things. I mean, you get stuff, but it always means you're about to see a fight. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Mm, there's bound to be a page somewhere at the logging site. I couldn't stay here. <laughs> there had to be a way to get up Alan. there. Oh. Oh. In the clutch. He picks up the coffee thermos. That's a big play by Alan Wake. Right, okay, so, okay, the generator's over here. I can see it beeping. I've honestly forgotten quite a lot of this, this game. Oh, there's a bit of lag there. Is that when we're seeing? With all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. Whoa, whoa. Oh my god, I'm bugging out. Can I take these guys without flagman? 